Welcome back to our expanded midday newscast. We are following all of the fires. Let's turn to the CZU complex fire where homes burned to the ground in Santa Cruz County overnight and the fire continues to grow unchecked. We have NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez out there on the ground in Scotts Valley. What's happening out there, Chris? Well, hi there, Chris. We heard from some veteran Cal Fire firefighters, decades of experience. They had a hard time putting into words how big this fire is. Then they added that it does have the potential to reach the city limits of Santa Cruz. The crackling of the fire burning in the Santa Cruz Mountains actually sounds like heartbreak. It looks like heartbreak, too, as family homes burn, along with redwoods that haven't burned in 100 years. More than 20 homes and structures are now confirmed lost, perhaps not even counting these. 25,000 evacuees are out of their homes, and the fire is at 40,000 acres and counting. At least three firefighters are injured. Bonnie Dune's been burning since last night, but with about 500 firefighters on the CZU complex fire, they're stretched thin. The weather conditions aren't helping either, and Cal Fire can't even get into the air long enough to gauge the true scope of the fire because the visibility is so bad. Uh, because of the way the smoke is laying down from the north to the south, it's essentially covering the fire front of where the fire activity is. The blanket issue that we're dealing with is, is just terrible visibility for our, for our uh, aircraft. The assistant manager of the only gas station in Boulder Creek says he knows how those evacuees fueling up feel because he's an evacuee too. Hopefully it doesn't get to my place, but two years ago there was a fire 50 feet from my front door, so I've seen what it can do. Now, there is a group called Native Santa Cruz, and they reached out via Twitter this afternoon saying, can you please ask people who don't live in Santa Cruz to stay home, that this is not the time to plan a weekend trip to the beach or to Santa Cruz. All of these roadways need to be open for Cal Fire to do their job and to get those evacuees to safety. So something to think about. In Scotts Valley, Chris Sanchez, NBC Bay Area News. Yeah,